Hi everyone, it's Dawn, and I hope you're having a fantastic week, right? Well, that investigation into the Holland America ship that narrowly missed that pot of whales certainly didn't last long, did it? I mean, what did they do? Uh, uh, what did you do, Captain? Oh, I altered course 10 degrees. Approved! That's how fast this seemed to go. I'm really not joking. Uh, I reported on this just two weeks ago that the Holland American ship was seen and filmed. It went viral, covered in the news media all over the place about the cruise ship from Holland America just narrowly missing an entire pot of whales feeding in Alaska. And the law states that you have to stay 100 yards away from whales, even on a whale watching excursion, those boats are not allowed to get any closer than a hundred yards to the whales. And when this first happened, the Holland America issued a statement and the entire statement said that the captain took precautions, altered course 10 degrees to sail beside the whales and miss the pot of whales. Everything is fine. However, if you watch the video, you see that the uh, person, Mark Sutherland, who filmed this on board, he was, he was on a, a, a vessel nearby, and he apparently radioed the captain saying, you're heading right for these whales, you're, you're sailing right through this pot of whales, got no response from the ship, did it numerous times, and he filmed the ship, and in, this, in the video you can hear him saying, there he is, just narrowly missing these whales, and he didn't slow down at all. So now we go to the NOAA who is investigating that. In case you don't know what that means, <laughs> it's a long one. It's the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration. And their department stated that in their release they said that the captain uh, changed course 10 degrees and slowed the ship down to miss the pods, which is what is supposed to happen. Now this is a very, like, the big thing is, they didn't even contact Mark Sutherland who filmed this video. So does he have more footage? Does he have more things, more evidence? They didn't even contact him. So what kind of investigation was done? Did somebody do an investigation over the phone? Did they call somebody up and ask, so what happened? Oh yeah, we just changed course a little bit, everything's okay. Thank you, click, yeah, this one's okay, we'll... I mean, if you have video film evidence from a witness, is it not prudent to get that evidence when he's willingly to volunteer it? Um, I, this, this, uh, I'm sorry, this just stinks to high heaven. It, it really does sound fishy. Not calling Holland America fishy, I'm calling the association fishy. I mean, if you have video evidence of a clear crime, and you, it's a flashed across multimedia everywhere, and you don't even investigate the person who filmed it, you're not doing your job. You're not investigating. You're trying to get it swept under the sea as fast as possible. <laughs> swept under the sea, you get it? <laughs> Disney reference. Okay. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really disappointed with the agency in itself. Um, I really think this was a half-assed investigation. Um, uh, and it's just, if, you, if you're not even going to investigate, why have your association? You might as well just disband now because uh, that this investigation is ridiculous, period. If, if the one person who has the video evidence and you don't even talk to them, you didn't do an investigation. Plain and simple. It, it doesn't go much more than that. And the big thing that I get is in both the video and the statement from Holland America, at no time does either one state that they slowed the ship down. However, the fisheries report says they slowed the ship down. Funny how they say that because that's one of the two key ingredients in the law. You have to change course and slow down. 
Yet in the other reports it just said they changed course. Doesn't it sound amazing that suddenly and slowed down was added to the report? It's a sad, sad day when we just can't, we can't even trust people to enforce environmental laws when we have video evidence or at least investigate properly. Han America perfectly well could have done all the right things. The fact that they didn't investigate properly is the real crime here. And whoever is under this, who did this investigation, you're bad at your job. You suck. Uh, you have no idea what an investigation means. <laughs> maybe, my, maybe you should take a watch on TV once in a while and look at CSI or something like that. And maybe they can look up the word investigation so you actually know what investigation means because you didn't do it. I'm ranting. I know, because as Mark Sutherland actually said, just in 2015, a Hall America ship showed up at port with a dead fin whale right across the bow. And that's one of the reasons that these laws are in place. It's a feeding ground. Whales aren't paying attention to us. They're paying attention to eating. You could, you could swim amongst a whole pod of whales and they would not pay you the slightest attention while they're feeding. But, no, nope, uh, uh, I, I, I'm speechless. I'm, uh, I'm, absolutely, I'm absolutely speechless on this situation that this person wasn't at least contacted. That is crazy to me. And that smells of corruption. Well, what do you guys think? Do you think there was an improper investigation? Do you think they checked everything possible? Oh, we, they checked the cruise ship logs. They checked the cruise ship, you know, webcam on the front of the ship. Uh, so they're, they're sure they did everything right. Or do you think that, yeah, no, they're just making sure that this goes away quietly. So there's no more scrutiny on anything cruise ship related to Alaska. And I'm a cruiser. I love cruises. But if you do something wrong, you got to be held accountable for it. Period. Such a disappointment. Well, let me know what you guys think down below. I hope you like this news update. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world and me getting angry once in a while. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.